So I'm going to talk to you today about your beliefs, what those actually are, and how they actually affect you and how your beliefs can lead to things like illness and disease. So a belief is just a thought that you continue to think, as Esther Hicks says, but this can come across in certain ways. So this could be a belief that you have because, you know, in childhood you were told something and so if you're told something in that uh, precious time when the mind just believes everything, uh, then you'll accept this. And this will become a deeply and strongly held belief that you have. Now, you can also have beliefs that are just things that are repetitive thoughts, um, and then they become beliefs. So let me give you an example of that. So here's my example. If you were, let's say you're in high school, and um, you think that maybe people don't like you, and you notice that there's a group of people, they're standing around, they're all talking, um, you know, you're overdoing your own thing, and you see one of them, you know, look over at you and then turn back to the group and continue talking. Now, depending on your beliefs and what you think about yourself, there's a pile of different outcomes that could come from just something so simple as that. Now, let's say that you think that people don't like you. Um, well, then very often that thought will go to, they're talking about me, they don't like me, um, and whatever that is. Now, this belief would have been something that was already in place. You would already believe, you know, that, you know, people don't like you, that you don't fit in, that you're not acceptable. And those beliefs that you have that you've developed over time, because you weren't born with them, um, some maybe, um, those beliefs that you have get reinforced every time that something like that happens. Now, now in that example, those people could have just been talking about anything, actually anything, but because that belief was already in place, that person, you know, that sees these people talk, talking, looking at them, thinks that they're talking about them, takes that as a proof that reinforces that belief that they already have and makes it even stronger. So they see that as a proof when it, you know, more than likely isn't a proof at all, but in their world, it actually is because it's become true to them. So I want you to just notice how um, the life force in your body is affected by a belief like that. Maybe that's a belief that you have, you know, that you're not good enough or not worthy or deserving or, you know, something along those lines. You don't fit in, something like that. So I want you to just notice, I'm going to say it to you, and I want you to just notice physically in your body how that makes you feel. So you could close your eyes so that you can like really get in tune with this or, you know, whatever. So, you know, nobody likes you, you're kind of stupid. Um, you really don't deserve good things. I mean, you're, you're not actually that great of a person. You haven't really done anything that would make you a really great person or that would make you worthy or deserving. You know, you basically suck. Okay. So just notice how that felt in your body. So I want you to notice your level of energy and I want you to notice the actual feeling that comes up in your body when you believe something like that. So now you might not believe that, but even me just saying that, um, just notice what that does to your life force energy. So now I'm going to say something different. So same as before, if you would just close your eyes, you know what? You are completely unique. There is nobody like you on this planet. You know, there might be people that kind of look like you or that do some of the same things, but they're not you. Um, you have a very special place. You might not know exactly what that is yet, but you're very valuable and important. You matter in this world. You're loved and you're here for a reason. And it's a really, really good reason. Okay, so then notice how that makes you feel in your body. So you probably noticed, uh, if you did that, that when you hear something like that, even if you don't necessarily believe it, it does increase the life force energy inside of you. So I'm going to tell you about that. If your life force energy is depleted, if it's low, if your beliefs, because everything is belief, if your beliefs are, you know, dictating your world, which they are, and that dictation is leading you to think, you know, low vibrational thoughts, like that life force that you just noticed, that's low vibration. That's what I mean by that. That can lead to sickness and illness and disease in the body. So if that is the case for you, if you are living in those beliefs, if you're holding on to them, 
And I know it's tricky to let them go. Like you have those things and they could have been there for such a long time. I have had clients, um, one in particular that comes to mind right now, that as an infant had a sibling, you know, they figured this out in the session, obviously they didn't just consciously remember it, had a sibling speak something really negative over them and it led them their whole life, their entire life, this person is uh, 68, to believe that they weren't lovable. And it all came from something that happened in infancy that wasn't even true. But these beliefs that we have, you know, this one started in infancy. How would you ever even know unless you explore your subconscious mind? Um, that started in infancy had affected this person their entire life. So think about what the belief of I'm not lovable does to the body. Just think about what that does, that low vibrational energy. All of our organs operate at different um, frequencies and different vibrations. And the only time that they get sick, um, that something goes wrong, is when the energy in that particular organ um, starts to get depleted. And that all comes from belief. It all comes from the way that you think. I, I know I'm pointing it to my head. I don't know where the mind comes from. There's, there's really no way to know. But, you know, that's the place that lights up, you know, just like a lamp, you turn it on, that's where we can see the, uh, that's where we can see the effects of it, but that's not where the energy originates. So anyways, totally different topic. Don't know where the mind comes from. But when you notice these things, so, you know, Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So I want you to think about those um, beliefs that you have that are low vibrational. Do those make you feel free? No. And it's because they're not truth. So when you start believing the truth, which the truth is that everything is love. Everything that um, exists has that little bit of space. You know what scientists call space because they just don't know what it is. That That is love. And the only thing that separates us from that, from being in that flow of that all the time is our ego, um, which really is our beliefs. It's the things that we think about ourselves. It's the things that we think about other people. It's the things that we think about our world. Um, and those things really do, your beliefs, your thoughts, um, really do affect your life. They affect your environment. They affect the people around you. You've probably noticed um, that there's certain people that when you're around those people, you feel really good. They have a high life force energy high life force. There's certain people as well that that is not the case and you can feel the depletion of your energy um, begin to show up when you're around these people. The only difference is beliefs. The only difference is the things that we think. So it is extremely important to think thoughts that increase your life force and they get you closer to the truth. Um, then it and it's just so important to cleanse away to get rid of um and to eliminate because they're they're not necessary they're not needed we don't need any of those beliefs that are harmful to our life force they they're actually killing us so it's like we don't need those um because not only are they killing us but they're not the truth and who wants to live you know in something that's just not the truth i don't so um, that's the video for today.